everybody, it's Noelia with My Moxie Dreams. Thanks for joining me today. Today I'm gonna to be going through my Franklin Covey Compact Aurora for February setup. So I learned a couple of things. I was trying some new things last month and some of them worked, some of them didn't. I also got some new tabs in that I had ordered back in November and finally got them in at the beginning of January and decided to use them for February. So I will kind of walk through the setup, walk through some of the changes and why as we go. So let's jump in. My Aurora is, my compact is my favorite thing in the world. I It is my life planner for sure. I've mentioned to you guys in the past that I was in a classic for over 20 years since I was 19 and found a compact at a thrift store for 50 cents and was like, well, what the hell? It's 50 cents. What's the big deal? I'm going to try it out. This is that compact. This is the 50 cent compact that I found at a thrift store. And this is the reason why I fell in love with compact size. So ever since the end of 2017, I've been in a compact and I love it. I do have a classic vintage Aurora that I use for work and you see that on my plan with me videos. That is my vintage Aurora that I use strictly kind of for work and add some personal appointments in there when necessary. So as a reminder, but it's typically a work planner. This is my life planner. Everything that is important to me and is of value and needs to be kind of tracked is in this particular planner. So let's just jump right in. So February, first thing you'll notice is that I have these new tabs. They're clear tabs and there's five. If you follow me on Instagram and you followed me on YouTube, you know that I have four key tabs in all my planners. I have dozens of tabs of different themes and they are the same four tabs. They are to do, goals, family, and budget. Everything falls within those four. These particular tabs came in five and so I decided to put my notes tab in its own section. So it's the first section in my planner. So first tabbed section in my planner. So that's kind of new to me. It's going to be interesting to see because I am very much a bottom tab, top tab kind of a person. And so normally I would have this particular top tab here so that when I'm somewhere, I quickly just, I can feel it. I can feel my where my notes are and quickly go to that. So it's gonna be interesting to see not having this in here this month, if it's gonna be detrimental to me or if it's gonna make a big difference. So I will keep you posted in March's flip through how I did. Here I just have a scrapbook paper that's pink with some gold glitter and I have that laminated. This is my Moxie Dreams kind of checklist of what I do weekly, monthly, yearly. I have my bills on the back. So it's kind of like a quick sheet for me when I'm doing other planner things within my planner. I have just some cute decorative pieces. These are kind of die cuts and little uh, journal cards. And this is from Posh Pieces. Obviously my rainbow flags and my rainbow pen. Then I have just a plastic page kind of lifter. This is a greeting card that I cut down and made into a dashboard. I think she's adorable. She's got little plastic dress slits. It's just the theme with the purpley pinks is what I was going for for February. I don't always decorate my planner every holiday or things like that. Like I won't be decorating for St. Patrick's or anything like that. I typically do it seasonally if at all. I, I'm kind of a, a creature of habit. I like the same things. I like my system the same. I don't change it up very often. I will try things here and there as far as inserts, but I'm pretty set in my ways and I know how my planner functions and how I function with my planner. So I kind of already have a system in place after doing it for 20 some years. So I don't change very often. February is my new January because January was such a chaotic month. I'm just glad it's over. <laughs> And I'm just using February 1st as my beginning of the year. Like I've erased January and all the craziness that happened and I'm just starting the year as of February 1st. So this is the beginning for me. 
So at any rate, then you have my monthlies. It's just a, a small, thin vellum paper that I printed a monthly. I always have my Her Point of View from Franklin Covey. It's the month on two pages. And I always pull the current month and put it into the center of my planner because I like it to be more even and flat. You'll see that shortly. So then you go into the notes pages and the notes is always, the left side has some post-its that I can quickly write things down and put it into a specific thing. Like I will write something down in here and then make it say, oh, okay, don't forget in March on the 19th, I have this to do. And that way when I'm going and planning my weeks, it's easy to kind of refer to special dates. That's what my notes pages is. It's kind of like my inbox. You'll notice here that I have just a really pretty, simple scrapbooking paper, and then I have this watercolored heart that I cut out and adhered to it. I have blank pages. This is a perfect example. I was at the dentist with uh, my kids, and they were scheduling their next cleanings and I just quickly write them here because I'm not going to write them in the month until I have time to sit down and plan it correctly. So in my notes tab, I have several kinds of paper. I have the blank paper, which is just plain copy paper. I have lined paper and I have graph paper. Then you go to the monthly tab, which is my current month at a glance, two pages. Behind that is my weekly tab on two pages, vertical. I like this vertical view. This again is inspired by the five choices by Franklin Covey. Unfortunately, they only have five choices in classic size. They don't have it in compact. So I went ahead and created these inserts for myself and they're basically the same thing. I just kind of did my own tweaks to it to make it more beneficial to me. I changed the words or the quote at the top. Mindset is everything is my goal for February, just my mantra for February. Then I have priorities for this week and errands for this week. And I just decorate it just a little bit on each week just to give me some motivation. So these are my weeks at a glance. I have one full month here and note pages in between. Then it goes to my to-do tab. And what I did here is I printed out my favorite, absolute favorite poem. This poem has been with me since middle school. Yeah, middle school, sixth, seventh grade. Um, at the time, we didn't know who the writer was in our yearbook. It was, was posted as anonymous, but I found out recently that it was actually a woman named Veronica Schofstall who had written this and put it in her yearbook back in 1976. So I think that's amazing. If you haven't seen this particular poem, it's called After a While. I strongly suggest that you go look at it if you're a poetry girl like me. I love this poem and one of the favorite parts of the poem is it says, after a while you learn that even sunshine burns if you get too much. So you plant your own garden and you decorate your own soul instead of waiting for somebody to bring you flowers. And you learn that you can enjoy that you really are strong and that you really do have worth. You learn and you learn with every goodbye you learn. I love those words. They resonate with me so much. I can't even tell you. So that is under my to-do tab. It's just something that I like to see and read every day because it reminds me of my strength. All the joy and happiness is within me. I have to cultivate it and create it for myself. So I love this particular poem. It's been with me forever. This is my to-do list. I tried some new things in this area and I just didn't like it. It didn't work for me. And so I went back to what I know. This is what I had in this section for January. I was trying it out. It's kind of like a task for the week. Weekly summary, notes, priorities to task. I just didn't like it. I felt like I was writing it here and then again writing it in my weeklies and I just didn't it didn't work for me. So I went back to what I what I always used, which was a brain dump page and kind of have a target list and be able to write down anything of importance that would then I would use to put into my weeklies or my month. So I have my brain dump sheets going back to brain dumps. I have blank to do sheets. And then I have my stop procrastinating sheets, which I love. And then the very back of the to-do list are ongoing lists. I won't show those right now, but there's ongoing lists. Then we have our goals page. And I did the same kind of scrap paper, only this time I adhered 
a really cute um, hot air balloon die cut. I thought it was super cute. Of course, my word of the year is moxie. And then I have another kind of journal card, meaning of moxie with the two years at a glance. Then it goes into my daily routine and my fitness. So here is what is also new for February. I was attempting to use, let me see if I can find them, the other part of the Gingham Gardens. The goal was that I would use one page and put my workouts. A, I didn't work out very much in the beginning of January, so it was kind of a moot point. And B, it just didn't feel right the way that I was setting it up. So let me show you what the last week of January looked like. So these are basically like my weekly sheets for my calendaring, but I created it specifically for workouts. So if you notice here, the week is vertical like I like it. And then at the bottom, it has weekly goals and then weekly meals. And then every single day has automatically a tracker for meditation and foam rolling. And then I have WTC, which is workout, time, and calories burned. So you'll see here for Monday the 25th, I did cycling for 20 minutes. I burned 458 calories. So I give myself three opportunities to work out each day. I did that because sometimes I will do one full workout of one hour and 15 minutes and I'll be on the treadmill and doing some weights or else I break it down into two where I do a, a bike ride on the faux Peloton that I have and then I do a treadmill or I walk with one of my friends. Down at the bottom of each day, I have my steps, H2O and sleep. Those are three things that for me, it's important mentally to track. So this, system works best for me. I like to be able to see this. I like to be able to see what I've eaten in the week. What are my goals for that week? Did I actually hit those goals? So this worked for me this past week. So I created that for February. So that's what this is. And what I've decided to do is I'm writing in um, my morning workout, which is 20 minutes on the Peloton and 45 minutes on the treadmill. So I have those kind of pre-filled out because that is the goal for me to do that, at least two workouts in a day. That is the goal. So that's what my fitness looks like. And I won't go to the next pages because the next pages has um, some weight and measurements. Then we go into my social media, which has my growth tracker. I'll be putting in the dates for February tonight. I have a content ideas list. I have my yearly fold out, which shows all my Instagram posts when I'm supposed to post. And then the numbers indicate if I did, a cross out means I didn't post that day. Then the back has all my YouTube uploads. I've been behind, so I have to update this tonight. Then I have my Poshmark reselling. And what this looks like is, here's my January and what that looks like. So every time I have sales, I write them down. For instance, on the 1st of January, I had two sales equaling 51.20, one sale, seven sales, two sales, and you'll be able to see, I can see at a glance the days that I sold and the days that I didn't. So the same thing will happen for February. It'll just be a record of all the sales for the month. Then you go into the family tab, again, another watercolored heart and in the family tab you have meals trips kids doctors home and garden none of that has changed meals are my franklin covey menu planner trips again are also my franklin covey forms doctors i won't get into because it's private information home i've been doing my garden beds and i've been doing my home gym garden just has the way that my garden is now structured I completely redid my garden bed it's outside. Here's what I've started on January 15th. These are all my seedlings that are currently on my seed bed, hopefully growing strong. Then I have my budget tab, which is all the same goodies that I have. There's a separate video on my channel where you can go through my budget system, but none of this changes. There's set for three months at a glance. This is what my February planner looks like. So I'm liking the pinks. I wanted something girly and pink and it just, I think it looks beautiful. I think these tabs are absolutely gorgeous. I will be keeping you posted on how the notes 
feel for me because it's gonna be a new way. I'm used to grabbing it here. So that'll be a new, for sure, a new way of getting to that particular area in my planner. But all in all, I actually love it. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed my February flip through. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. And thanks for joining me, guys. Have a great day. Bye. Mm -hmm.